In this ride, we will be experiencing several situations related to light suburban riding and multiple lane roadways. We'll be interacting with a variety of other highway users. Here are some questions to consider. What helps us with our strategy as we approach an intersection? In what way is safe riding more a skill of the eyes and mind than of the hands and feet? Why is it better to respond well ahead of time instead of having to react at the last moment? Why is it sometimes wise to stop short of a stop line at an intersection? Why should we be cautious around vehicles getting ready to pull out in front of us when we can see them looking at us? An oncoming car tripped that left turn signal, so in about two seconds that light should change up. There it goes. Let this truck get ahead here a bit. Opens up my space on the left side there. Congestion on the right, so I think I'll move to the left side of this lane. Try to maintain a little bit of speed with traffic, although they're going pretty quick on the left side. There's a car, potential trap, but they stopped. That's good. I had a place to go on the left if I needed to after I exceeded a point where I could use my brakes to stop. Begin my motion here on that slight incline. Just checking a bit. We got a left turner up here, but he's got a red light. Let's assume he's going to honor it, but I'm ready just in case. 45 mile per hour speed limit. Biker without protective gear, but you know, that's a choice. We like people, we like riders that make safety a priority. It's just a value that gets your mind set straight where decisions you make are based on what your brain's telling your eyes to look for. Of course, your eyes pick up all the inputs, but your brain tells what the priority is, and that's why we call motorcycling more of a skill with the eyes and mind, the hands and feet. Of course, you have to have good skill to ride a motorcycle. The better the skill, the better. We like superior strategies, superior skills both, but when it comes to emergencies, you don't get to practice those very often, so it's always good to respond to something well ahead of time instead of react to an emergency. That's why time and space is so important. You can see why I try to keep nice time and space and check intersections. So we're 45 speed limit, going about 38 right now with this truck. I see up ahead it's gonna go from two lanes our direction to one, so I might as well just kinda hang here, give them a space to merge into. Don't wanna be confrontational. Think about the space they might need and uh, it gives me space I might need. So it's two-way street, as they say. Share the road with bicycle sign. It's kind of narrow here. That train signal could almost be confused for a traffic light. There's a traffic light up there beyond that train signal. We'll be going straight. This looks like it's moves from one lane to two, I'm just going to blend over in the right lane. Actually, there's a right turn lane, so there's three lanes. So I'll pick this one here to go straight in. Didn't need really signal there because it moved from one to two. So the light change, I can maintain my momentum. Looks good behind. I'm going to overtake vehicles on the left, so I might move to the right just a little bit. Next traffic light, I'll make her right. That person's holding, but I want to get in that lane. Would have been interesting if she would have wanted to continue on. Watch for this truck maybe moving over, but I'm out of their blind spot now. Right lane must turn right. That's what I'm going to do. Stay in the middle of the lane. Go to the right lane as I make my turn. Oh, this is a right turn lane. i got to change lanes left. Signal blind spot check. Signal off into a red light. There's a little busy time. So I'll downshift, make sure the bars are square, stop over this back part of this uh, sensor, because these people turn left. Sometimes they cut the turn off. You want to be back just a little bit. Many of them, you know, they go about halfway out and make the turn, but some of them cut early. Not much I could do except maybe push backwards if somebody did cut it off, but. Give them that space up there so it's less likely to happen. Light screen, we'll head off here, a little bit of curve to the left. It's like a 45 mile per hour speed here, so I can pick it up just a little bit. Fairly open, do have access areas on the left. I see a residential area on the right up here with 
pretty decent blind spot they come blowing out of there so I'm, I'm looking I'm ready pretty bumpy there's a couple uh, manhole covers there that stick up quite a bit so I'm gonna go maneuver around those well we have a duck crossing up here let's see if there's anything up there I don't think they understand traffic flow there's another intersection where somebody could pop out of and we also have horses up here so unusual things might be going on it's a golf course here on the right so there could be golf carts I'm gonna hug the center lane over here left side of my lane so I can see better they can see me better another chance for somebody to pull out of the parking lot 45 mile hour speed limit I'm doing 40 at the moment another intersection two-way traffic nice bold center line traffic moves opposite directions not much of an escape to the right although on a motorcycle that right edge is can be attractive if something happened I'm going to turn left at this intersection up here looks like a four-way stop it doesn't say it let me take a look when I get up here yeah, I see traffic on the right and left and the oncoming has to stop nice full stop bars square we're good we're next about halfway out make our turn I'm gonna go in the near lane I could go in the far one but well, kind of a good move I guess since that garbage trucks up here I want to I'd be over this lane anyway so vehicles right left coming out I think they see me I was ready just in case now I'm going to change lanes to the right signal blind spot check move on over I'm going to turn right at this intersection this is a right turn only lane and we had some pedestrians going by so that's like likely to stay I see the pedestrian light just went off so there's a few seconds left I shouldn't have any trouble at all getting here signal off I'm going to turn right at this intersection, heading to a little restaurant called Bad to the Bone. They've got really good barbecue there. Now, I could get into that gap right there, but I think I'm just going to stay back here. No sense going up there, wait for the light to change. And I can park in the parking lot after I make my turn. Stay in the right side here a bit. I see a median there, so i got to make this turn pretty, pretty tight. Signal's off. And I think I'll pull into this parking spot. A little shade here, so that's not a bad idea. Let's take a moment to answer the questions we posed at the beginning. What helps us with our strategy as we approach an intersection? Besides knowing what we legally have to do, it's good to check out cross traffic, what they're required to do. Of course, we have to recognize others don't always follow the rules of the road. And we have to make predictions and decisions with that in mind. And what way is safe riding more a skill of the eyes and mind than the hands and feet? While it's good to have superior physical skills, especially when braking or swerving, it's good not to have to use them. A good eyes and mind strategy can prevent the need to use superior emergency skills. Why is it better to respond well ahead of time instead of having to react at the last moment? It helps us avoid panic-inducing emergencies. Why is it sometimes wise to stop short of a stop line at an intersection? It provides a space cushion for cars making a left turn in front of us from the right. Why should we be cautious around vehicles getting ready to pull out in front of us when we can see them looking at us? Because their brain may not be telling them to watch for motorcycles and we could be invisible to them.